Mic check one two one two. This is your host, Nasun, baby, and this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. Family, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, I wasn't gonna do the podcast because I have a headache. You know, my headache is crazy. But hey, you know, we gonna rock out with our cocks out. You dig? And the party must go on. And um, I, I want to answer a question that some people have. Pertaining to the lifestyle, the swinger lifestyle. And people ask, are there standards in the lifestyle? Do do, um, standards exist in the swinger lifestyle? And I want to say that people have their criteria. You know, people have their own tastes. People may base their criteria on, on something physical, mental, emotional, the swag, the confidence or whatever. As far as playing with somebody, as far as being attracted to somebody in order to play with them. And I just want to say that you have to be mindful that in the lifestyle is you have you have people who may have fetishes, you know, or fantasies. You know, people may do something at a lifestyle party that they wouldn't normally do in their quote unquote regular lives. You dig like for me, for an example, I play with women at a lifestyle party who I probably wouldn't even look at once on the street. You know, that's not to say that I'm a fuck everything moving because that's not true. I still got standards and and I can't extort my dick. You know what I'm saying? I can't bribe an orgasm. You know, shorty, she still got to get me hard in order for me to fuck. You dig? And I, I say that to say... That when you go to a lifestyle party, the atmosphere may be so contagious. The sexual energy may be so overwhelming that you may find yourself fucking somebody that you probably won't even fuck outside of the parties. Just on GP. Just because, you know, that person, you you might have saw something in that person that you might have overlooked otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bone chicks who I wouldn't play with outside of the parties. But hey, you know, when my dick is hard and the pussy is wet, we gonna make magic. You know what I'm saying? And are there standards? Yes, people have standards. You know, you have people who will fuck anything because they want to turn up and you have people who are more reserved. You know, they, they still uphold their standards outside the parties. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter that we're in they're in the lifestyle. They still gonna have them same standards. You have people who are like that. You know, so we're in a judgment free zone in the lifestyle. You know, we would like to think that the lifestyle is non judgmental. You know, you may have people who have these grandiose ideas of who they wanna play with. You know, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm going to tell you this, rather. You know, Holly Berry is not walking through them doors. You know, freaking Brad Pitt isn't walking through them doors. Idris isn't walking through them doors. You dig? Cindy Crawford isn't walking through them doors. And I say that to say that your standards may be so high that you may not see anybody at a lifestyle party that you want to play with. And it's like, yo, humble yourself. Because you may not be somebody's cup of henny as well. You know, um, I say get it while the getting is good. And um, if you hold yourself to a certain standard, to a high, this highest standard that you're close lining angels, that you're going to miss out in the diamond and the rough. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you should just fuck anything just because you're at a lifestyle party. But all I'm saying is that, you know, don't overlook somebody because they they may not be your cup of henny. You know, have at least have a conversation with that person. You know, see where that person's head is at. You know, just don't dismiss the person because, hey, that person might give you the greatest fuck known to mankind. You know what I'm saying? So, to my people out there, you know, I, I'm not saying that you should lower your standards. Because I'm a firm believer that you should go after the apple on top of the tree instead of the apples 
laying on the ground. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't bone the chicks that you see walking aimlessly in the hallway looking for something. You know, I go for the gusto. I go for the top notch chicks. You know what I'm saying? However, if if a chick is average or below average, she may be sexy. She may got some. She may got like a sexy ass quality about her that make my dick hard. Because I've come across drop dead gorgeous females who didn't do it for me. You know what I'm saying? They didn't do anything for me because they. There's a difference between beauty and sex appeal. You could have beauty. You could be gorgeous. You could be drop dead gorgeous. But if you don't have that sex appeal, then it's like. All of that doesn't matter. You know, if you don't have swag, if, if you don't have style, if you don't have finesse, all that beauty doesn't mean anything. Because I've seen dudes, I've seen short dudes, fat dudes, you know, average looking dudes. Yo, they fucked the whole party because of their swag, you know, and they got more ass than dudes who are muscle bound, dudes who are ripped, dudes who are diesel. You know what I'm saying? Dudes who got six packs like a damn washboard abs. You know what I'm saying? They got ripples on their abs. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about your swag. It's all about your conversation. It's all about your finesse game. You know, sexy is sexy has has to ooze out of you. It's your aura that's gonna get you played in the lifestyle. And I, I know I've diverted from the original topic but at the same time it relates you know what i'm saying because a, a chick i may she may not catch my eye on the street or at the club or at the nightclub but if we're at a hotel setting and she's put together well right and exact and she's rank, wearing the right shit and she got something that makes me go ooh la la then we're gonna get busy point blank simple as that all right so, to my people, I'm, I'm not saying that you should lower your standards, but don't be so, don't don't put the bar up so high that you're going to be disappointed. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like, whatever whatever makes you horny, go after it. Whatever makes you horny, that's all I'm going to say. Whatever, whatever makes your dick hard and your pussy wet, go after it. Go for yours. Get yours. You dig? On that note, this has been an episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, Nasun. Um, check out my website, www.nasunblaze.com, to check out my ebooks and what have you. Hit me up on Insta- Instagram, Nasun the Great. Hit up my Twitter. Hit up my my Facebook page, Planet Nasun. Hit up hit up all my accounts. You know what I'm saying? And holler at me and my Snapchat. It's for the ladies only. You know, I'm not snapping no dudes. I'm giving the exclusives to my ladies because the ladies run things. You know, it's a man's world, but it's nothing without a woman. You dig? And on that note, until next time, peace.